guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having a fantastic day as always. Figured I'd take the Viper out. We haven't driven this car in a while. It's been like all ZR1 content and truck content and uh, the Viper is really cool and really fun. It's a great car to drive. Very different, naturally aspirated 8.4 liter V10 with a manual. That is the cool part for me. Love the manual. Talk about how dual clutches are better and they are, you know, in every like measurable way, but the manual is still I don't know, I feel like there will always be a place for the manual transmission, at least in my garage. But um, what we're doing today is we are picking up the Hummer. That's right, we're picking up the, <laughs> we're picking up the Savage Garage Hummer and we're taking it over to PDW to get a Duramax swap. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that on the Savage Garage channel yet, but that's what they are doing. And it's gonna be really freaking cool because Hummers, you know, they're awesome, but they're not very good vehicles. And this one is the old, has the old 6.5 liter diesel in it, and it's not a great engine. Uh, that truck will perform a lot better with a modern LBZ, especially since Randy plans to tow with it. Yeah, you know you're a baller when you're gonna tow your Koenigsegg with an H1 slant back. Like that's his tow rig, which is great for me because I can't wait to drive it. All right, grabbing the Hummer keys right here. Kind of has a nice fob on it. I don't know if that's factory. It says Hummer, could be factory, I don't know. But we're at Enchain Designs. You guys already know what that means. We've got to do a quick merch plug for the Viper. Now you can win this car right here. You only have about three weeks left to win, but you saw the whole process from my last upload. Our winner, Valentine, came up from Florida. He drove the Hellcat around. I took him out in the ZR1, and that could be you. Uh, you come up here, you have a great time, and you get a new vehicle. So don't forget to enter. Get all your entries right now. Get as many as you want in ShaneDesigns.com. Every five bucks spent is an entry to win that Viper. 2014 SRT Viper. It's an amazing car. I mean, it, it really is. It's rare. I pretty much guarantee when you win, you'll be the only one in your neighborhood with a Viper. Got the Brixton forged wheels on there, like $10,000 wheels. We have a carbon fiber wing. We got a Corsa exhaust. That sounds epic. If you wanna win and be our next winner, InShaneDesigns.com, link is down below. Good luck. I already know, we give away some good ones here. We have the Hellcat that only had 14,000 miles on it. The Viper has 2,500 miles. It's like a brand new car. Don't worry, you're not getting like a 200,000 mile, like our titled piece of crap. You're getting, you're getting a good car. Try the Hummer unlock. I'm guessing the fob doesn't work. Okay, Humvee time. Now it is inner. Oh my God! There's no steering wheel. That's going to be a problem. Uh, so the Hummer. Now this should be interesting because I've only ever driven 
Uh, I drove the yellow one, but that was more military as well. This one is clearly, you know, outfitted more for like civilian use in a luxury way. Look, you got diamond stitch leather, diamond stitch leather and Alcantara with uh, orange stitching everywhere. Look at these seats. Beautiful embroidered Savage Garage logo on the seat headrest. Really nice carpeting too. I mean, this is this thing is incredible, guys. It's already cool enough that it's a Hummer, but just the fact that it's like done up like a luxury car and it matches the Koenigsegg, pretty freaking cool. See, should be like any race wheel, I would think. All right, that shouldn't come off, I don't believe. It should be okay. Oh, it's got AC, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Beautiful, all right. All right, guys, we're about to drive. We're about to drive the Hummer. A freaking godsend that it has uh, air conditioning because I didn't think it would. All right. And we're off in the big Hummer. Now, <laughs> this thing is like, these are so crazy because you know, like a Lamborghini or a McLaren or even a Corvette, you know, that gets some looks, but nothing breaks necks quite like a Hummer. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're cooking! It actually drives pretty nice, but Randy was talking about, you know, towing his Koenigsegg with it, and you literally can't tow at highway speeds with the old engine. You cannot, you, li you literally cannot tow at like 70 miles an hour with a 6.5 and the old trans, you can't do it. So you have to modern, you know, you have to put a modern Duramax in it. It's the only way. This one does drive really nice, I have to admit. It does drive good. You hear that old 6.5 clacking away. Yeah, this one's good. This one's solid. It's not bad. It's riding on a 38 by 1550, I think, or a 38 by 1450. No, actually, I think it's a 38 by 1350 tire on 20-inch black rhinos. Really cool look. If you guys don't know about their channel, check them out. Randy's a great guy. Jimbo does the filming for them and the editing. So old Jimbo, if you know about it. Jimbo and I go way back, like five years. But really cool channel. All right, let's floor it. Pedal to the floor, pedal is to the floor. Woo! Almost at 40. See, that's exactly that's exactly why you can't tow with it. Now, not that a Koenigsegg is, is heavy, but you, you cannot tow with a 6.5. Can't do it. Can't help but love it though. I got a smile on my face the whole time because it's just fun. You know, it's, you're driving a military Hummer. Everyone loves them. You know, they're just really cool. What's cool about Randy's Hummer is, and the thing that makes it cooler than almost any other one out there, it's the slant back. And the slant back is not only the best looking, in my opinion, like by far, it's not even close, but it's also really rare and unique. And I love, you You rarely see a civilian slant back. And this one is a slant back. Randy, thank you very much for working air conditioning. I really appreciate it on a day like today. <laughs> We're on the phone cam right now. We gotta get Shane's initial reaction. All right, buddy. All right. Now, what is this? You got an H2? Are you a Hummer shop now? 330? 330. Well, uh, now, wait a minute. I was late. I had, to do, <laughs> I had to do something. I had to do something. What do you think? He said he redid it. Like, it's bad. Dude, this thing is bad. Man, Justin, awesome. this is the H1 of all H1s. Let me tell you something. Man, they did it all. Yeah. Full interior redone. Sound system repainted. Now, did he buy it that way or did he have it done? He bought it that way. Well, then he had the seats done. Yeah. See, they, they say Savage. Like a, they say Savage Garage on them on the headrest. Like the orange, like a Lambo color. Yeah, yeah, it's to match his Lambo and his Cunning Zag and everything else. We got Bobby over here, RF racing with the old truck. 
uh, next to the 2020 High Country. I wanted to show you guys as a comparison. This is a pretty big truck. Uh, nine, I think it's an eight to 10 inch lift. So like a nine, set to about nine, like eight or nine um, on a 37. And that is a nine to, to uh, nine to 11 inch on a 38. So the tires actually aren't a whole lot different, but the truck, I mean, just the difference in the truck is unreal. Look at the, the height difference is amazing. You can see like the, this truck is totally in frame. My roof isn't even in frame yet. If I if I have the camera right here. Yeah. So what? So this just, it's because it has bigger tires, build bigger wheels and tires on this one, right? Ma uh, mainly just because it's such a bigger truck. That's like, really what it is. It's like the body. That truck actually has that. That's the same size lift kit uh, as this one, really. But that's just, that truck is so big and it sits that tall from factory that I mean that's what you end up with. You end up with just a vastly bigger truck. But you were saying, I mean, you stuffed what under this when it was when it was stock. Yeah, you can fit a 35, 35 1350 which on. Which is it. insane. Yeah. I remember 33s back in the day was like the big time. Right. Absolutely. And now this thing can chew up 35s like it's nothing stock. Like getting a wide 35 on that was hard. I even rubbed with that lift kit when I had a big wide when I had a 375 uh Toyo Open Country, I rubbed on that truck. And I have a super wide, really out far, you know, aggressive offset 38 1550 and it doesn't rub at all. So we're 15 years apart right here. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I give the truck credit. It looks good, but I don't. I don't know. Like this truck still looks amazing. They don't look bad. Years old. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? Like the cat eyes. I always like that look. Uh huh. Everyone hates the grill apparently on this. Yeah, I think I did too. To be fair, to the people who are listening and hate it. I did too, but I, I don't rough. mind the high country grill. If you color match them, they look good. Yeah, especially with the off road bumper here. Yeah. I mean, that is depth and fire on this thing the light bars put it's down a, the ground oh my god it's just like full coverage here with the light it's crazy how how much bigger it is though it's unreal so nice but yeah you got you guys can see here my old truck which i thought was massive you know i drove it every day but i'm you know i can stand here well above the the, the hood of the truck i go over here top of my head isn't even up to the not even up to the hood vent and just the, standing at the back like i can i can almost look over the rear end of this truck like i can if i look right here i can see over the edge i can look right here this truck not even close to be like think about that eye level this truck is my eyes are above the tailgate on yep. this truck they're above the tailgate as you can see this truck the top of my head is not even above the tailgate on the 2020. is this just the angle or does it seem like i don't know like the, the cab of the truck is so much higher on this like if you put the rack on there it would like tower over the cab of the truck yeah it does seem like they made the cab on the 2020 a little more sleek and low i think it looks better it might look weird with a uh with like a headache rack or a, a roll rack back there i don't know how 2020 would look with that it has to be super low profile it seems i don't know maybe it's just because we're like looking up at it i tell you what i missed though the sound oh the sound bobby's the truck sounds so like, freaking oh good the train horns are cool too but, which I definitely, I got to get some train horns for this, but I admit, like, see, having you drive next to me, my God, it's just if you If you leave the volume city. in the rollers, all you're going to hear is the whistle. Yeah. yeah it's amazing. I'm, I'm super so jealous of bus. that. The OG spool bus. Yeah, on my channel, I don't want to self-promote here, but if you want to get promote updates yourself. on the LLY, yep. go ahead and hit it up. We're almost at 30,000 subs. Yeah. And, uh... That's about it. Bobby's almost at 30K. And if you guys don't, if you're just, you know, finding my channel with the 2020, this is my old truck, my built LLY. Uh, Bobby got it. My soon to be brother-in-law, my best friend for 12 years. Um, he bought it and he's doing some stuff with it. He already fixed the winch. You guys, if you follow the build, you'll know my winch was broken. So he got a brand new winch on it. And uh, you can follow that truck on his channel. Again, he is almost at 30K subscribers. Uh, so check him out. And you got the two trucks together. Pretty freaking sweet, dude. Oh yeah, man, it looks uh, crazy, man. It is crazy. Cause then like, I could bring down the Detroit and it would just look <laughs> Yeah, like well, one of the old stupid. trucks. It would look really stupid. Yeah. So, and, and this one hasn't aged nearly as much. So that's great. It's uh, I mean, that was my first build and I thought that was like the craziest. I mean, I still love that build. It's really nice. The old trucks are great, but I just, I never thought I'd be building stuff like this. Because the spool, but I mean, that is like, <laughs> Wow. Dude, like I was driving next to an 18 wheeler and I was like legit. I was sitting that the dude was like maybe an inch or two higher than me, but we could pull it over there next to it and show him. We should do that. Yeah. He's probably sleeping. We should just probably, yeah. <laughs> My old truck that I used to own and then my new truck that I just built. And I thought it'd be neat to show you guys like, because that was always kind of known as like, oh, you got a good sized truck. 
that thing is massive, out of control, massive. And I wanted to show you guys the function of the air suspension in the back, the, four, the full air ride on a four link system in the back. So you can see, you can uh, go up and down. If you're driving down the road, you can drop it pretty much all the way to the tire and drive completely slammed if you wanna do that. I mean, I'm not into the slammed thing, but um, it's really good. Mainly, the function is for towing. If you wanna load something in the bed, you can drop it all the way down. And when you drop it down, she park where it's like the, the air brakes going off. And <laughs> so sick. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> it's that low. The top of the tailgate is about here. So it's actually, I mean, it's still high, but it's actually usable and kind of practical. You can load things in. You could use a, a fifth wheel or a gooseneck or something on the truck and it would that would work for sure because it really does drop a long way. 2020 and 2005 together at last. Okay guys, so I am on the phone cam. As you can see, a little different. I got the big boog, big boog pig right there. There he is, the one-eyed bear. Um, and I'm really sorry, I had a whole thing filmed. This was gonna be another like 30 minute vlog. Uh, I had a whole segment filled where we drove to get the high country, which is out there. I don't know if you can even see it. It's like a really stormy, dark night. I guess I take the sunglasses off, though. I like my, my mirrored framed aviators. Um, but yeah, the high country's out there. Uh, my mom's new uh, Volkswagen, by the way. She got a new Golf uh, Alltrack to replace her Volvo because it finally like kind of blew up. Uh, it lasted 200,000 miles, though, so we got a lot of use out of that car. Um, so anyway, I filmed all that. GoPro just decided not to record any of it. I put a new memory card in. I have to look at the lens, which is over here. Put a new memory card in, and it was working to get the B-roll footage then, and then the footage with Bobby. But I don't know. It's super weird why mo half the footage was gone. I mean, I had like another 10, 15 minutes all gone. And with the hum the Hummer, too, which I forgot. I There was like one or two videos of me getting to Shane's, which luckily I also filmed on my phone. So, uh, because I said that the GoPro battery was, was dead, I think, but anyway, really screwed up. I lost a ton of footage today and this might be finally like the last nail in the coffin to actually get a new camera. So I don't know, but, um, regardless, the high country's back body shop did a great job on it. It's totally perfect. Now I wish I had the freaking footage. I talked all about, you know, the dents are all out of it and it's good to go, but you saw the B roll footage. So now the high country is done. It's freaking done, boys. And I can actually drive it to enjoy it. Can you see it at all out there? Yeah, you can kind of see it on the iPhone. The iPhone's actually better at filming at night than the GoPro. But um, yeah, so the high country done. Next step is going to be a full detail on it because it's still a little dirty. We never cleaned it from auction. And then actually I'm gonna make some fun content on it because I haven't been able to yet. Like literally I got the truck. Uh, it pretty much went straight. It sat here for like two days, as you saw. Went straight to, I gotta keep, remember to look over here. It's gonna look super weird in the camera because I'm looking the wrong way. Uh, it, it sat here for like two days and then I drove it like once. I got pulled over. Boog, you stopped getting out of that food. Get out of there. I drove it like uh, once. I got pulled over and then it went, boom, get out of here. I got pulled over and um, then after I got pulled over, it went to the body shop and I haven't really been able to actually drive and enjoy the car, so the truck. So I'm excited to actually do that so I can enjoy it and drive it around because I really haven't yet. So we'll get some good content with it. Thank you guys for the views on the high country, by the way. It's been incredible. Uh, I didn't think, I really just kind of got the truck because it was a good deal and I didn't want to let my lift kit go to waste. You know, Kelderman was excited about doing the build. I was excited and I already bought the wheels and tires as well. So I didn't want to let that go to waste, so I bought the truck. And I didn't really think it would do well view-wise because most of my audience, I think, is for cars. He is so bad, he is well, so bad, so bad. Most, most of my audience is for cars, but you guys are killing it on the high country views. Like, I think the last two videos got over 400,000, which is really great for me. Um, so I appreciate that, and we'll get more high country content on the way for you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this upload. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't worry, next upload, I won't scrub the footage. Unreal. Take care and have a great night, guys.